What happens when a driverless car gets pulled over? Let's talk about it. Welcome everyone, Mark here with Mark's Travel Time. If you are new to the channel, I'm going to ask that you please click my face down there to subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell icon up there so you know when I post new videos. This was kind of amusing. I came across a video and this isn't real recent, I just recently came across it, of two guys that were playing around with their self-driving Tesla. And they were seeing how well it could manage going in and out of parking spaces at the mall. So this tells me a couple of things. Number one, although people really tout the uh, Tesla as being the end all of self-driving vehicles, it's not quite there. Um, now, granted, this is a challenging situation, but in real life, going in a parking space is something that we as human beings navigate very easily. And this car is really, really struggling. Uh, not just the parking space, but just negotiating a parking lot altogether. And eventually you will see that it broke a traffic law. I believe it went through a stop sign and it got pulled over. Now, this raises a couple of other issues. I'm going to tattle on myself just a little bit. When I was a much younger version of myself, and I always had some pretty interesting cars. At this point in my life, I was a teenager. I had a 1957 Chevy. I also was a proud possessor of a very heavy lead foot. And as a result, I had to go to traffic school. And one of the things that we learned in traffic school, now granted, all states are different, but one of the things we learned was that police really don't have much jurisdiction on private property. The only traffic laws at that time in that state that they could enforce was uh, reckless driving. Now, reckless driving can cast a very broad net. I guess that they could say reckless driving is almost anything. Before making this video, I did a web search and it turns out, as you would imagine, different states have different approaches to what authority a police officer actually has on private property. And it really depends on what type of private property. In many cases, a parking lot as a mall, at a mall can almost be treated like a public road. Especially if we do things like run a stop sign and hit somebody else, uh, we would be at fault. However, in many cases, the mall in a parking lot can be treated by law enforcement as if it is a public road. Uh, because, pub you know, there is public access through this as opposed to there's not public access normally through your own personal driveway. So we're not going to get too much into that, although I do think that it's an interesting point, maybe fodder for a future video. But I would like to go ahead and look at this video and see what happened.
Uh, I didn't run the stop sign. Yeah, I know. I just don't know how, uh, how I do that. Uh, well, I don't know who to write the ticket to, so. Well, I wasn't driving. Yeah. Now, the police officer is really in a pickle because he doesn't know who to give a ticket to. There is no driver. The owner of the car is not really responsible for the actions of the vehicle. It is legal, I assume, to have this self-driving vehicle uh, out in public. And technically, it might not even be in public since it's on a private parking lot. So there's a lot of things going on here, and I'm sure there are not answers because the laws have probably not adapted as quickly as the technology has. So let's see what he did. All right, man. All, All right. checks out. All right, apologize. Uh, technically, no one really ran the stop sign except for the car. The I mean, car ran the stop sign, so yep, no ticket? So, nope. Perfect. Thank you very much. Have a good day. No problem. Thanks. So you see what the police officer did? He pretty much said, I'm not going to get involved. And he issued a verbal warning. As I would imagine is going to happen the first few times, the police are intrigued. They're interested because they're just people like us. And they say, wow, this is really cool. I'm sure that he had an interesting conversation with his wife over dinner. You won't believe who I pulled over today. Uh, so these things are kind of fun. They're kind of amusing now until something more serious happens and perhaps somebody gets hurt as a result of a self-driving car who is going to be held liable and this is one of those things that i think plays in directly to ride share because um when when these vehicles if and when they ever take over is a company like Uber or Lyft going to want to take responsibility for traffic violations? Right now, you know, we talk about the police officers saying hands off. Right now, hey, Uber and Lyft are hands off. If we get a traffic stop, they don't have to worry about it. This is just another one of those things that is piled on to uh, why I don't think Uber really wants self-driving cars. I think they want to own and lease the technology in much the same way that Microsoft owns and licenses their technology. Uh, Microsoft doesn't really want to own stuff. They want to own intellectual rights. And I think that's what Uber should really go after it. I think it is what they don't admit it, but I think it's really what they want to go after. Because do they want to deal, we talked about this so many times, do they want to deal with ownership, maintenance, initial purchases of vehicles, uh, insurance, liability, and now things like traffic stops, and maybe even liability when it comes to hurting, maiming, or even killing people. If I'm an Uber driver and I kill someone, that's on me. Now, if Uber owns that car, that's on them. And you saw the hellfire that rained down upon them when that woman was killed in Tempe, Arizona. If this becomes a norm, we have hundreds of traffic fatalities, maybe thousands on a weekly basis across the United States. How many of those are now going to be attributed to self-driving cars? And it's Uber, Lyft, Trip. Uh, are, are any of those going to want to really take responsibility? I don't think so. That's why I think this whole threat of being replaced with self-driving cars is pretty much an empty threat. Although I have to say, I want one. I really want to own a self-driving car. All right, everybody, I would love to hear your comments on this one. Who's responsible when a self-driving car is pulled over for a traffic violation? Please like and share the videos. Leave your comments down below. If you haven't already, please click my face in the corner to subscribe. And don't forget to ring that bell icon up above. That way you'll know when I post new videos. I'm Mark, and this is Mark's Travel Time.